Kurtis. Hello, it's British Illusion, and welcome back to uh, my Flames of War videos. And I'm going to do my damnedest to try and stick to one subject matter for a, a longer period of time, I hope. And because um, I'm basically running out of things to do now, um, I am. I am. So what I'm, I've been doing, I've I've got the eagle's nest back out again, the mountain, and I've actually applied some paint. Yes, I have. Uh, I bought some. Uh, paint from B&Q's which uh, weren't that brilliant but I found the best value for paint was Wilco's uh, in the UK Wilkinson's <clears throat> for £1.75 for a full tub where you buy a tester pot from um, B&Q's and you, know, you get half a tub ridiculous never mind so I've been doing a bit of uh, work on that I'll show you that in a minute and um, basically my mate in Canada gun barrel um, he's been working on his Sherman's uh, and that's what I've been doing as well um, but he's, I think he's a, uh, the Americans, where mine are the British, British attingency, uh, basically want to do the, uh, the Bridge Too Far campaign. And I found a couple of, um, plastic Matildas in, uh, in the same box. So I painted them up in desert, uh, early war, which I'll probably get rid of at some point. Anyway, I'll, I'll flick to the floor, the deck, whatever. Right. So here's my Matildas. Uh, these are Zedra, uh, super value money. I've gone a bit OTT with the chipping, but you know, that's me. So yeah, simple paint job. Khaki, uh, no, Iraqi sand, Vallejo Iraqi sand, and then a brown wash. Job done, and then my chipping method with a sponge. So they look pretty good. Uh, found these figures. These are the, oh, something Ace. Can't remember now, ages ago. But I thought these would be pretty cool for Bridge Too Far Command figures. Uh, at some point, I can attach these to a section or something. So I've got two American chaps, two two pairs of Americans and two British. So I'll paint them up and uh, they look pretty nice eventually. And there's my Shermans I've been working on. That's the British side with two Flyflies at the back. So I've got one section of Fireflies Command and Second, second Command uh, and some... British Shermans got what five uh, six six including the command uh, and then over in the corner there I've got I have got some Brit uh, they're American Shermans with the uh, 50 cal or 30 cal whatever it is on the top uh, so these are sort of primed brushed um, I actually use Russian green and then I apply the a black wash which and then I apply like a, a dry brushing of Russian green again, or maybe khaki, I'm not sure now, I can't remember. Blacken up the tracks. And this one's got to have its decals put on and also um, some chipping after that, which I won't go mad like I did then. So I'll show you the uh, mountain next, hang on then. Right, uh, I might have to zoom out actually, because it's so big. Oh, and now my finger's in the way. Right, there she is. Uh, I've got to apply a few more coats yet and then dry brush and textured paints on it uh, at the bottom I've left that that's the uh, the front entrance uh, that terrain projects made for me uh, I won't show you the full Monty yet but I just wanted to give you the scale of it so I have to use some more modeling stuff in there to fill it out and bring it forward a bit so a bit more wire and a bit more um, painting involved there and a bit more pasting but yeah you can see she's coming along Slowly, slowly. What they say? What's he? What's he say? Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, it is a different grey there. That's the B and Q grey. So I have to apply the other grey, but it could do with a couple of coats anyway. So yeah, it's coming along. I had a lot of trouble with uh, the filler on that side because I had that uh, filler that you mix up with water, and it went really powdery. You run your finger down the side, and you had a residue on your finger. Whereas the wood filler I used on these sides went on really nice and hard and there was you, you do that to your finger and it just comes up like clear so when I applied the paint it stuck to it I applied the paint on that side it just went ugh, disgusting it all sort of pulled and ripped where the powder was coming through the paint so what I did um, I was going to PVA it but I managed to get a cheap uh, rattle can over there which is horrible stuff and I thought I'll just use the whole can just sprayed it sprayed it sprayed it which set it 
basically. So when I applied the grey this morning, over here, it set. So I was quite pleased. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, I shall push on to Moscow. See you later. I was clearing out my drawer on Sunday and uh, I found this at the bottom of the drawer. So I turned hobbyist. If you're watching, I've got them. There they are. Canadian dollars that there be.